Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Wednesday the 9th of October. The local media headlines today. The row over whether or not Cornwall Council should follow its own constitution when there's a challenge to its leadership has taken a new twist with the council's top lawyer trying to defend his decision to impose arbitrary time limits and his insistence on wet signatures rather than the now standard email. Henry Gordon Lennox has only a week to go in the job and appears to be leaving with his reputation damaged by this act of self-harm. The overall impact of the row has been to drive up support for the plot to dethrone the council leader. Southwest Water has been told to repay nearly £17.5 million to its customers because of its poor performance. And as if to underline the point, Truro was flooded on Monday and Newquay is still reeling from the flood of raw sewage which swamped the town at the weekend. Congratulations to Tanuvi Ethanandan, who's the first chair of Cornwall's Fairness Commission. Gold star, if you know what that is. And Cornwall's spaceport continues to boldly go where it absolutely doesn't need to, attending a nice jolly conference in Milan. Greatest Hits Radio had its own take on that Southwest Water story, reporting that nearly a fifth of domestic supplies are lost due to leaky pipes. That is actually an improvement compared with six years ago, but the Environment Agency says it's still unacceptable. The Cornish Times looks forward to a goodwill trip to Cornwall from a group of Palestinian youngsters. It's been organised by a human rights charity. The Falmouth Packet had good news for karaoke fans. The BBC covered a traffic accident on the A30 near Launceston. And finally, Cornwall Live warned readers to watch out for Hurricane Milton, especially if they're in Florida. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.